Hi and welcome back to the channel We Don't Know Why. It's Trey here with the fourth episode of Trey's Car Talks. Today we're going to be talking about, well, um, I don't know, honestly, yet. I don't know what we're going to be talking about yet. Uh, you see, I wanted to talk about what I think, what I was calling the YouTuber problem, which I don't, I don't know, maybe I'm the only one, maybe it's only on my YouTube feed, but I doubt that. I don't know about you all, but I have seen probably five or six videos from several different content creators, right? Talking about this, like, slump that they're in, right? How they are lacking the creative drive, or they're thinking about quitting, or anything like this. And I guess that's, that was kind of what I... It caught my interest when I first heard it from a YouTuber I watch pretty frequently. And then I was like, maybe we could talk about this, because his approach to solving that problem is the approach that we're taking with this channel from the beginning. Um, so I thought that maybe that could be interesting. Um, I'm not sure it is. <laughs> I was thinking, I sat down, you know, to talk about it, and I was like, is that really, is that really something people want to talk about? Like, does that really matter? Um, so, yeah. Let's see. So, against my better judgment, we're going to talk about it anyways, uh, at least for a little bit. Um, you know, I try to, I'm going to try to keep these at like 30 minute, minium, mini, minium, minium. Yes, that's English. We're starting off fantastically already. Um, I'm going to try to keep these from a 30 minute to like an hour and try not to go too much over an hour. I know that there's been some long ones. The, I don't know which ones have been long, but I like to talk. If you guys haven't picked up on that, um, the whole kind of reason I can even do this segment is just because I like to talk a lot and uh, if you know me personally you know that's of course the truth which maybe isn't a good truth but it's the truth nonetheless um so anyways the youtuber problem um so yeah like I said I'd seen a couple different videos from you know a few different creators on YouTube and it seems like you see them every year around the end of the year right it's the I'm exhausted, I've been doing too much, or I've been trying to put out too many videos, and I don't want to disappoint you guys as my audience, but, you know, I just am getting wore out, that, you know, the whole spill. We've all heard it, right, multiple times from a variety of creators, whether it's people that create, like, travel stuff, or people that create video game stuff, or whatever, all over the spectrum, we've all heard it before, right? And it's, it all pretty much rings the same, right, um, in that, They've lost the drive, that this this isn't fueling their creative needs like it did in the beginning of the channel, and but they appreciate how much it's grown and they just don't know what to do and now they're in a you know, stuck between a rock and a hard place and they're just deciding what they're gonna do. So I wanted to talk about like what what is this, you know? Why does it seem like every year we get just a massive amount of these, like right at the end of the year? We just all we just get flooded with them every single time, and like without fail. So I thought that it was interesting. Um, I'll I'll say the channel's name. So call me Kevin. He mainly plays video game stuff, um, and I find a lot of his content pretty entertaining. There are some things that I don't watch, and there are other things that I you know watch more of when he puts them out. Um, but he's definitely on the list of YouTubers that I frequent. I'm subscribed to him. Um, and generally content's pretty good, but he just came out with a video, like, I think it was today. It might have been yesterday. I'm not sure. I watched it today, though, talking about how he was in this slump, right? And how he's kind of, like, how he had been really, like, considering quitting, you know? And he was quick to give a solution, though. You know, a lot of the YouTubers don't give a solution. They just put a title like, uh, should I quit YouTube or I'm quitting YouTube to try to get clicks, right? Uh, which, of course, is smart. Titles and thumbnails are all of it. Um, they really are. It's actually quite amazing how that all works. But he was quick to come with a solution for his problem in saying that I love. he's like, I like making video game content, I like playing video games, and I know you guys like watching me do that, but I need to do something different, right? Instead of just saying, oh, this whole YouTube thing isn't working with my creative process, he immediately came at it with, I found a way to make this work for my creative process, and I hope you guys will go along with me, right? And that is, for him, filming things outside of video games, right? So he's talked about how he's going to put up a video of him trying to learn how to skateboard and a bunch of other things that he's going to attempt to do. 
and how these videos will be popping up more often. And I'm like, okay, that's great. See, because I think, and I, again, I'm not a big YouTuber. I'm not a big time YouTuber. And, you know, hell, this may come up years and years later if we, you know, if this channel ever happens to really make it big. Um, and that is, they don't, like, that we're not going to stick ourselves to a niche. And that's what I think happens with a lot of these YouTubers is that they start something, right? They start a channel with the intention of putting one particular type of content out. And that's what they want to do. And at first it may be video games. It may be travel vlogs. It may be, you know, whatever the hell it is, cooking or something. And the niche is good you know, for views occasionally, right? Like if you get really good with some of these video games, you're playing Minecraft specifically. A lot of these Minecraft YouTubers, they start up a channel like with the expectation, this is what they're doing, they're playing Minecraft. And those videos get millions of views, right? Across the board, we've seen it. You know, it doesn't matter if you started out with nothing, doing things that are certain niches, like, you know, playing video games, especially certain video games, or cooking certain types of food, or going traveling to certain places right they can all have a niche and they can have a large following which is something in a traditional sense you would kind of think would work in your favor but after a while a niche is a niche right and yes you will get burnt out it's like with any job right you know if you're working at the walmart cashiering you know you go into the same place every day nine to five eventually i think any you know normal person starts to lose drive for that position right i know i do uh at the age of 21 i've held way too many different jobs in my life so far which i will admit i'm it's not something i'm necessarily proud of but the problem is you get like especially anyone who has any sort of creative process you get bored really quickly after doing the same thing over and over again so the number one thing that i've seen from all these channels is they stick themselves into a niche right they like they're only playing video games or they're only cooking or they're only making resin stuff, or they're only doing woodworking, right? And it just, like I said, it never fails that these YouTubers come out and they say, I'm drained, I'm wore out, this isn't working for my creative process. And I thought it was interesting that Kevin's, uh, Kevin, because I don't know his last name, um, Kevin's choice, right, from Call Me Kevin, his choice of solving this problem was doing exactly what we're doing with this channel. And that's why... I like that's why this channel is the way it is right we knew from the beginning when we came up with the name and Nate started this whole process in motion we don't know why because all of my friends have the attention span of gnats for the most part right I'm just not gonna lie we do we have a hard time staying focused on particular things for so long even you know like Dion who loves video games can watch you know he can play a certain game for this amount of time before he's got to take a break. So we all have that problem where we're maybe all a little ADHD, you know, where we get a little just bored of doing the same thing. So that's when we came up, but we don't know why. And that's why I felt pretty confident with our chances of success as a channel, because it's not a common approach at all on YouTube for people to put anything and everything on one channel, right? And that's what we explained to you. Know, that's why I, I kind of explained to you guys when we started this whole thing in the first you know, kind of like in the first video on the channel, right? The first official video on the channel, right? Um, when I talked about how this is we don't know why. Anything and everything content-wise that we can come up with is going to be on here. And yeah, you know, there's room for niches like I explained too, you know, where you guys like a certain content enough, we can split that off. We can go, you know, we can make sub channels and stuff like that if that's what you all want to see, right? If someone's like, hey, you know, I really like the video game content, but I need that without all the other content, we can do that eventually. So I guess that's my thoughts on it, right? Is that these YouTubers across the board, some YouTubers that make it really big, right? That have millions of views, they still come out and they say, oh, I'm just burnt out. Maybe there's a new formula, right? Maybe there is a new formula to YouTube. Or maybe I'm a total fool for thinking that I can outdo the traditional way of, you know, becoming a successful content creator on YouTube. And that's probably the case, right? I'm probably, you know, maybe this never grows. This channel never grows past a couple hundred subscribers or something because there is no room for such randomness, you know, and people want what they want. 
but I don't really care if it grows so huge as if I always stay, you know, like so much as if I, you know, as long as I, forgive me, as long as I stay enjoying what I'm doing here in creating content, that's a win for me, you know? I have no, like, major hopes that we get millions and millions of views or millions of subscribers someday. And I think that's what a lot of people do when they start YouTube is they, like, they're going for that one specific goal of just, like, blowing up and making it huge, which there's nothing wrong with that, you know? Sure, one of these days, if I could, you know, if this channel grew big enough where I didn't have to work a normal 9 to 5, that'd be cool. You know, I'd be all right with that. But I'm going to take the different approach, and this channel is taking the different approach, and it's an approach that I'm starting to see adopted with a lot of different channels and how they're moving away from niches because it allows them to enjoy themselves more. And I think that's, of course, the most important thing um, when it comes to life. And, and okay, maybe not the most important thing when it comes to life. That's kind of a bold statement. But a very important thing when it comes to living is enjoying the time that you have you know because we don't live very long you know human beings do not live very long you know we're lucky like you're super lucky if you hit 100 years you know like and that's really in the grand scheme of you know time is not a whole lot of time so i've always had the opinion and call it the gen z opinion of me that you know we should enjoy our lives more you know than previous generations are like you go to work you do this you do that it's the same thing every day and that's just what you do because that's how you live I do like that about our generation, how we kind of like branch out from that, you know, we're like, we don't want to be miserable in the same nine to five forever. Um, so yeah, that's what we're, we're going to not do that. And that's how I feel about that. And it's, it's actually nice to see some of these larger creators, you know, cause call me Kevin, he's not like a massive creator per se, right? He's not, he's not Mr. Beast level by any means or PewDiePie level by any means, but he's a big enough creator that I know he has got to make a decent amount of money doing this. And it's cool to see him as a larger creator, take the chance in uh, changing up the way his channel operates and getting out of a niche. Cause I, you know, it takes a lot to break out of a mold that you've created for yourself, especially if that's what people expect when they come to your channel. So that's what I was kind of like happy to see. And maybe it's good, you know, maybe it's a good sign for this channel. You know, we don't know why, that we'll have some real growth potential in this next year because we're not setting a niche for ourselves. We're just not. We're not going to do that. Um, there will be channels for the niches eventually, right? When we get enough viewers in any one way, we can split that off. You know, if you guys want to see gaming content somewhere else and you just want exclusive gaming content, one of those days, one of these days, we might be able to do that. Or, you know, we already have the, uh, the car channel, right? We don't know cars, which... We've got a big project coming up for which we'll talk about here in a little bit. Um, you know, and that's a niche. And the, the reason why I, like, took that one specifically from the very beginning and gave its own channel is because I know car stuff has its own following completely. And there's a lot of guys that are... There's some guys that are just on YouTube for the car stuff, right? They don't watch the video game stuff. They don't watch this or that. A lot of older guys or girls that are just looking for some quality wrenching content... And that's why I was like, okay, this is the immediate first place for a niche would be in the car content. Um, and yeah, we like I said, we can do that with a lot of different things. So, you know, um, hopefully, hopefully that all kind of, you know, hopefully everything on YouTube, there's kind of been a, a, there's been some shifts in YouTube lately. And at least one of these shifts and people kind of looking at their niches and thinking, maybe we can do this differently is I, what I hope is a good sign for this channel. Um, and we'll see, you know, I don't know what this year is going to bring. We are uploading every Monday. This will come out the second Monday of January. So we've already got a video primed and ready that'll be out on the second, which of course, if you're watching this one, you will have hopefully seen that. If you haven't, go watch it. It's gonna, it's, it's hilarious. Um, it's a bit of a longer video because I just couldn't pick and choose which parts to take out because really we were just having a good time. Um, real light video for the first of the year and we're taste testing some hot sauces. So I'll link that in the description of this video. If you haven't seen it, go watch that. Give it a like, you know, leave a comment. Um, so that, you know, that one was, that one should be good, I hope. Um, we enjoyed filming it and I did, you know, I enjoyed looking back at it when putting it together. Um, so that one should be good. But yeah, anyway, so kind of moving on from the topic, I guess. There we go. I, you know, I don't want to beat a dead horse there. But yeah, 
hopefully we're going to do all right. Um, now on to some other miscellaneous things here in this back section of the episode, I guess we'll call it. Um, so the car channel. I have gotten some feedback on some of those episodes, and it's good to see that there are people out there that really want to see more car content from us, um, from myself, because I'm the one who wrenches out of my friend group. Uh, you might see, like, Braden on some of those, you know. But if you're into car stuff, check it out. We don't know cars. I will also attempt to link that in the description of this video. Um, that one's great. We've got a big project in the car I'm sitting in right now. It's my 95 Toyota 4Runner. We're going to be doing the um, the head gaskets on it. I had to, I tried to do this already and I filmed the whole process and then the car didn't work because I definitely didn't half ass it. But anyways, uh, we're going to do it right this time. I had to, unfortunately, I'm going to have to order new cylinder heads for the car because the other ones are just too pitted. They're aluminum cylinder heads. Um, but anyways, try not to get too techy here with you with the car stuff. But if you're interested in that, that video should be coming out probably towards the end of January, and hopefully I will be back to driving this uh, old girl around, and I, you know, I look forward to it. It's my first car, and I love this car dearly. A lot of good memories in it, so I look forward to getting it running, and of course, filming the whole process for you guys, and that will be on the We Don't Know Cars channel. Um, yeah, so that's that. Second, I was going to see if, uh, well, if anyone's watched this far, if I could get you guys to drop some ideas in the comments on some other things you might like to see on the channel. I've been putting around a few ideas. Uh, I don't know if they sound interesting to anyone, so you let me know in the comments um, if they do seem interesting or not. Um, I First, I'm, I'm a, a poet, I guess you could say. I like to write poetry. I won't consider myself some great writer or anything, but I like to write poetry. I am published, and I've had a few lately that have come up that I really liked, and uh, I guess I was curious. It's That's definitely not something you see on YouTube very often, but if you guys would be interested in some poetry readings, maybe? I don't know exactly how we go about filming that to make it interesting, but they would probably only be a couple minute videos um, you know, maybe we could sprinkle them in, in the week, instead of, you know, it wouldn't be like a full Monday upload, but maybe we could sprinkle that extra content in. If you guys wanted to see that, uh, let me know on that one. Um, music content, I don't know, I've been putting that around too, because I do, I like to sing, um, some of the other members of the group like to sing. We all have got decent voices, um, I've got a good friend who could help record things, um, and give you guys, like, some actually quality sound. It wouldn't be me singing in my car for you. Um, so if that's what you're worried about there, don't be, it would be, like, truly recorded music. Um, probably older stuff, you know, uh, what they call adult standard, <laughs> which is, like, Frank Sinatra and stuff like that. That's my favorite music. Maybe a little country music, I don't know. But you guys let me know if either of those things sound interesting, and please... Drop it in the comments on anything you guys might like to see us do. Uh, you know, at this point, we've got, what well, we've got the the two podcasts, this one, and All The Things podcast, which we will be looking at filming some more for here in the next couple weeks. Um, it is the end of December now. So in the next couple weeks, or so there should there could be some out at the end of January um, and into February with the All The Things podcast. If I, it's just more of a scheduling conflict there, you know, when you're trying to get people together to do that. So you might see some smaller cast ones, you know, two people maybe um, on that one. And maybe we can get a bunch of other people in on some other ones. We'll see how that goes. You know, so we got the two podcasts. We got some video game content. We've got just two video game, video game ones up, I think. We got some Black Ops 2 stuff and some Fallout 4 stuff. Which I was working on filming some Fallout, more Fallout 4 stuff and some Minecraft stuff because that stuff always does well. Um, quick note on the video game stuff, they're all long form because I don't have a way to film video games very well. I just upload to Twitch and I upload the stream archive onto onto YouTube. So that's why they're long form. So just know that I don't expect anyone to watch those videos all the way through. Um, it's more of just appealing to a video game audience and seeing if people like that delivery on stream. And of course, if, you know, people like that kind of stuff, we can get into a more professional setup eventually when that's, you know, when things kind of allow for that. So we got that stuff. And then we had the, uh, the most recent video with the shooting content, um, where 
the shooting content. That doesn't sound good. Don't YouTube. I it doesn't mean that. But no, the gun tubing. There we go. That's a better way to put it. When me and Braden went out and had some fun, um, that was a good video too. If you haven't seen it, find it, watch it. It should be in the miscellaneous playlist. I try to categorize categorize all these videos, by the way, into each each into their own playlist that should be publicly available. So if you guys are looking for any particular type of content, go watch that. Um, and then of course we got some of the you know regular vlog stuff where we did like the Johnson residence and we did part two of the Johnson residence. I don't know what happened with that video. Um, something went weird there. It's only gotten eight views and it's like not seen by anyone, which is strange because the other one is our second most watched video on the channel. So maybe, you know, if you haven't seen that, it was a pretty good video. Um, it was fun to film. We went back into the same abandoned house that we had done previously and went up and explored the attic space, which is kind of its whole, it's its own thing. Um, but that was fun. So if you haven't seen that, go back and watch that. So yeah, we got a bunch of varieties of content. And again, just let me know in the comments if there's anything else you guys would like to see or something that you guys think could be entertaining. Um, you know, always looking for suggestions. It's uh, a little harder than I thought it would be trying to come up with new and creative things all the time. Um, I'm not necessarily the most creative person on the planet Earth, I'll be honest. But I think we've done all right so far. <laughs> Um, that being said, I don't know. I assume we're probably rambling here. Um, no, it's, it's okay. We're only at 20 minutes on the timestamp. That's not too bad. So this won't be too long then for y'all. Um, yeah. So with that, with that being, with all that being said, um, maybe I'm, I'm doing a little trick here so I can uh, keep contact. There we go. I've got something blocking this half of the phone, so I'm not looking at myself, and I can have better contact with the camera. I know that's something I need to work on, and I got this darting glances, too, that don't help anything. Um, but yeah. Anyways. I guess this is going to be a short one, um, because I don't want to just keep rambling here. You know, that's not entertaining. So yeah. Uh, there's kind of my thoughts on the whole... YouTube thing and maybe the direction things are starting to head on the YouTube platform and hopefully it means good things for us here at We Don't Know Why. Um, again, anything you guys have suggestions for in the comments, please be sure to like and subscribe if you're enjoying any of the content we have on this platform because you will surely see it. If you like have a particular thing that you like, you will surely see it again. And leaving a comment, you know, stating which kind of content you guys enjoy the most or whatever else, that stuff will help us. You know, any feedback you can give us helps tremendously as we kind of navigate the beginning of this channel. Um, I stated it in a short, I believe, or it might have been in the Merry Christmas video um, that I filmed on Christmas Day, just kind of giving an update. But the goal for We Don't Know Why is to be monetized on YouTube by the end of 2023 which I think we can do it. Uh, I don't think it'll be hard to do at all. It's only 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watched hours. We are at 175 watched hours and 34 subscribers. So of course we do have a long way to go, but I'm confident that we can build ourselves a nice community here and we can get past that benchmark. And if we totally blow past it, um, I'd be perfectly excited to start a merch shop. Um, you know, maybe get in with someone who's, you know, affordable. I don't know. We'll figure that out. But I've already got like all the URLs and everything. So, you know, as soon as this channel is ready and you guys are ready and we make this thing a community and we can really take off, which I hope will be this next year here in 2023, um, which I guess is this year by the time this video comes out. Um, yeah, we're going to be ready to just go and, you know, go to the moon with this one. So that'll be it for the fourth episode of Trey's Car Talk and the first Trey's Car Talk of 2023. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you watched all the way to the end. And this is Trey with We Don't Know Why signing off. Thank you guys and you have a wonderful rest of your, rest of your day or night or whatever it is and have a absolutely wonderful 2023.